Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways on Cyber Monday. Yeah, it's a chilly one today. Never really did get warm. I've been wearing a hoodie zipped up tight the whole day. And I've been out here doing a few things. I got my, uh, what is it, Wednesday video shot and my follow-up for the uh, tell-all Thursday video shot because this is going to be a video uh, a very very busy week for me so while I was doing all of that I uh, checked my batteries my watt cycles and everything is sneezing <coughs> thank you uh, everything is kosher. It's running just perfectly. Lay, like the way that goes, too. Gotta love Watt Cycle. Now, I got a surprise for you. Watt Cycle has uh, just released their newest battery out there. And it is a server rack battery. It's a... 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour server rack battery. If you don't know what a server rack battery is, it looks like a uh, a battery that would fit in a computer server rack. And that's exactly what it does. And uh, these things are stackable. And you can put them right into a standard um, computer server rack if you have one. Or you can buy one from my friend's store at... Uh, all tech electronics they sell those they don't always have them but uh, they'll be used and great prices so go over and check all tech out if you need any more information leave me a message down below in comments and i'll get back to you all right so anyway on this on the new watt cycle server rack batteries and i will be reviewing one of those real soon uh, i got word that uh the Shipment, shipping information is going to be sent to me any time now. So I'll get that this week and we'll see what's going on. I can't wait because I read everything there is to, about this thing on the we website, on the Watt Cycle website. And for those of you who are interested, I suggest you go over there and uh, uh, check it out. Just uh, type in on the search um, rack battery and it'll come up and then read all of the stats on this thing you can stack 20 20 of these things together in parallel <laughs> I wouldn't do that with the uh, um, the batteries that I have the um, uh, golf cart batteries I wouldn't do that with any of the other batteries that uh, are out there but these server rack batteries, will you can stack 20 of them. That's like 102 plus thousand watt hours. Can you imagine that? You could run 102,000 watts for an hour on that. Oh, heck, that, that's great. And some of the other things I read about it that I really like is, yeah, they're a little on the pricey side, but they have better... Um, cells in them they have um, better BMS's in them they have everything about them is better and one of these batteries alone will outperform two of these other batteries I'm running so <laughs> it, it's just outstanding the the information that's online about it so you, go check it out I mean it's really interesting and if you haven't bought batteries yet this is the way to go. You can buy one battery at a time and then add, add on to it as you go down the line. And get one every six months or something and add one on. And they automatically, the first battery in the group, will automatically take um, control as the master. And then all the ones you add after that will become slaves automatically this is all done automatically there's no buttons to push or anything it does it all by itself it's all built right into the system oh my god talk about advancements so 
<laughs> I don't know what I would ever do with 102,000 watt hours. That's a uh, that's just inconceivable. <laughs> you can run a small business on that. Uh, anyway, I might uh, if I ever get any money, I might try that out just to see what it's like in my golden years, uh, sitting back with the. Uh, all the power I could ever imagine and not having to worry about it and uh, switching over get off getting off of propane altogether and switching over to electric so that uh, there's no running downtown to get uh, propane tanks filled anymore yeah outstanding just totally outstanding it's amazing look at the grass growing here but it's supposed to go down to uh, the freezing temperatures tonight so I'm gonna move on from the watt cycle batteries and just say hey go ahead and uh, um, go online to the to wattcycle.com and in the search just search uh, uh, rack batteries and it'll give you all the information right there have fun reading that that is really interesting but anyway because it's going to go freezing tonight, I'm going to come in here in a little while. I already did once. I got that covered yesterday just in case. But yeah, it's chilly in here right now. So I put, uh, I put this bucket on top of the tomato plant to because it's going to freeze. I want to see if I can protect that plant. So I'm going to come back out and I've got a bunch of pots right there i'm not going to um, put the extra cover on the top of them but i will just drop a pot over all of my plants and make sure that i can possibly uh, save them from freezing um, the pepper plants have all got fresh peppers and blooms on them and the blossoms here so i may as well take this one see i harvested one <laughs> I'll take that one in with me for tonight. I'm making chicken noodle soup, but with the uh, leftover turkey. The uh, turkey breast, I've got lots of turkey breast. So I'm gonna make uh, chicken noodle soup with turkey in it. Uh, it be turkey noodle soup. Yeah, so I think I'll cover my potato plants with a couple of buckets, just to help hold some heat in and see if it helps. And, uh, Hopefully I'll get over this because there's only like two nights this week that it's going to drop below freezing. Um, tonight is one of them. Tomorrow not. And then the next day after that is supposed to drop to below freezing again. And then after that it should be back to our spring-like weather. So try to get past it and move on from there. That's about it everybody. I want to Thank you all for joining me tonight. Get over and check out Watt Cycle. Outstanding. That company is going to be number one in the world for off-gridders. And um, Sherry out there at uh, Desert Rest Nevada, uh, drop me a line. Let me know when you got a, some time to uh, talk with me and I'll help you. Uh, get some things set up and get your list going as to some of the things you need to order to get your um, system, your electrical system set up so that you can get through this winter. And uh, trust me, I love running my little electric heater right now. Every, all day, all night, it stays plugged in with a thermostat setting on it. I had it set for 71 degrees. And... Uh, it runs when it wants to run, and with three 12-volt, um, 100-amp-hour batteries, I go to bed at night with uh, uh, probably 90% in the batteries. I get up with 70% in the batteries, and the sun comes out, hits my solar panels, charges them back up to 100% in no time, and I'm ready to do it all over again, so... That little electric heater is um, taking the, the pressure off of how much propane I have to use to keep the cabin warm. 
and that's going to save me some money in the long run. But uh, adding some more power to my battery bank means that when it really gets down in the 20s and stuff like that, I'll just crank that little heater up a little bit more, and I should still get through the night without any problems whatsoever with all electric heat. And nice thing about electric heat, there's no carbon monoxide. So you're not going to die in your sleep. All right, everybody. This is G-Bear reminding you thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.